Hi everyone, welcome to Anti Tech Park YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna show you the solutions for iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max stuck on Apple logo. First solution is force restart. Press the volume up button and release it. Press the volume down button and release it. Hold on the side button until the Apple logo appears. Second solution is charge your iPhone. Connect your iPhone to its power adapter. Force restart your iPhone while charging. Third solution is use Tenorsha Reboot. Download and install Tenorsha Reboot on your computer. Launch Tenorsha Reboot on your computer. Connect your iPhone to the computer via USB cable. Now Reboot will automatically recognize your iPhone. Tap Enter Recovery Mode. Wait for few seconds and then your iPhone will get into recovery mode. Now your iPhone will display the recovery mode screen. Wait for 2 minutes and then click Exit Recovery Mode. Fourth solution is update your iPhone in DFU mode. First connect your computer to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Connect your iPhone to the computer via USB cable. If you are using Mac with Mac OS Catlin or later launch Finder. If you are using Windows computer or Mac with Mac OS Mojave or earlier launch iTunes. Press the volume up button and release it. Press the volume down button and release it. Hold on the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. While holding the side button, Apple logo will appear. But don't leave the side button when you see the Apple logo. Keep holding it until the recovery mode screen appears. Tap on your iPhone when it appears on the screen. Select update in the pop-up box. Now the computer will update your iPhone without deleting any data. Wait until the updating process is finished. This process will take more than 20 minutes. Then force restart your iPhone. If updating your iPhone doesn't work out, select restore instead of update. But restore will erase all data from your iPhone. Fifth solution is let your iPhone die. Don't do anything with your iPhone until it dies, even it takes one or two days. Then connect your iPhone to your power source and let it charge for 30 minutes. Now turn on your iPhone. After trying these solutions, let me know which one is worked for you. If you know any other solutions to fix this issue, let me know through your comments.